The next step is the installation of the balancer. The two-spring, two-cable balancer is standard on a Whiting premium door. The balancer requires three mounting brackets at the center, curbside, and roadside. First, position the center bracket by marking the inside of the header at the center line of the opening. The mounting surface for all three brackets should be flush with the surface to which the vertical tracks are secured. If necessary, you may need to fabricate offset hat-shaped sections to bring the bracket mounting surface even with the vertical track mounting surface. Weld the center bracket directly onto the center line of the opening, making sure the locating tab on the top of the bracket just clears the roof skin or liner. The curbside and roadside bracket locations can be determined by using a simple formula. The location from center line for both brackets can be determined by deducting one and one quarter inch from the shaft length and dividing by two. For example, a 93 inch shaft less one and a quarter inches equals 91 and three quarter inches divided by two equals 45 and seven eighth inches. So in this example, you would locate the curbside and roadside brackets 45 and 7 8 inches from the center line of the door opening and in line with the center bracket. These brackets will ultimately be supporting a charged torsion spring assembly, so make sure they are attached securely. You'll notice that one end of the balancer assembly is painted red. Be sure this end is installed to the roadside of the unit. The only exception to this rule is on a hollow or shallow header type rear frame where the balancer is mounted deep within the header cavity. In this case, simply reverse the balancer so that the end painted red is to the curbside. There are two holes pre-drilled through the shaft on the roadside end of the balancer assembly. Install a cotter pin in the inner hole and place the balancer assembly into the brackets. First, slide the balancer through the curbside bracket. Next, slide the balancer through the roadside bracket until it stops against the cotter pin. Insert the second cotter pin at the end of the shaft. Now, rotate the balancer shaft so that the squared center portion lays flat in the center bracket. Install the center clamp and secure with flanged nuts. The balancer brackets and spring assembly are now installed, and you're ready for the next step, installation of the whiting door.